How do bees build their perfect, six-sided homes? It starts with the worker bees consuming large amounts of honey. Their bodies metabolize the sugars and secrete tiny, clear flakes of beeswax from special glands. Other workers then collect these scales, chew them to make them pliable, and painstakingly sculpt them into the iconic hexagonal cells of the honeycomb. But why hexagons? This shape is a marvel of efficiency. It uses the least amount of wax to hold the most amount of honey, creating a structure that is both lightweight and incredibly strong. This isn't just a pantry, it's a masterpiece of natural architecture. Once the comb is built, foragers return with nectar. This nectar is passed from bee to bee, mouth to mouth, reducing its water content and adding enzymes. The processed nectar is then stored in the honeycomb cells, where the bees fan it with their wings to evaporate even more water until it becomes the thick, stable food source we know as honey. This is their energy reserve, the fuel that will power the colony through the winter and sustain generations to come. A bustling city of thousands needs a sophisticated communication system, and bees are masters of language. Their most famous form of communication is the waggle dance. When a forager finds a rich source of nectar, she returns to the hive and performs a special figure eight dance on the surface of the comb. The angle of the dance in relation to gravity tells her sisters the direction of the food source relative to the sun. The duration of the waggle part of the dance indicates how far away it is. It's a living GPS, a precise map shared through movement. But their language doesn't stop there. Bees also communicate through an invisible world of chemical signals called pheromones.